So right now, we haven't been able to get any information from police. They're obviously still investigating these two separate scenes. Many officers are here at the corner of Laclede and South Avenue. I do want to step out of the shot so I can give you a look at what I'm seeing right now. Now, when our crews first got to the scene, we did see two ambulances here. They have since left. As of right now, we are unsure if any victims were in either one of those ambulances. But I do want to draw your attention to this GMC that's right down the road from me. You can see bullet holes in the windshield. Again, we haven't gotten any information from police, but we do know there are two separate scenes here. They seem to be connected. I am working on getting in contact with more YPD officers, hoping to talk with detectives and have more information about what's going on in this investigation. But I also talked with residents here in Youngstown who were at this scene just trying to get a better understanding of what was going on. And they shared those same frustrations that the mayor and Chief Carl Dave, police Chief Carl Davis shared earlier today about the shootings and the recent surge in violence that has been been going on here in the city of Youngstown. It's a lot of anger, a lot of outrage, and a lot of sadness. Now, much more information for you as soon as I get it, so be sure to stay tuned to WKBN and over on our sister station, WYTV. But that's the latest for now. Reporting live in Youngstown tonight, Lindsay Watson, WKBN 27 First News. And we have learned that this incident all started here at the corner of Rush and Pasadena. That's where I'm standing right now. And we have learned there are two victims in this shooting incident. They actually drove themselves, police say, over to Laclede, which is where I showed you the second scene was about a half an hour ago. We know now from police that a man and woman were both shot. Both were taken to the hospital in the ambulances that I told you that I saw over on the scene on the. Laclede, and they are said to be in stable condition. Now, I do want to show you what's going on here at the corner of Rush and Pasadena. You can see that detectives are putting markers down where the shell casings are. At last check, I have saw about 29 to so almost 30 shell casings here at this scene. And this makes 91 people shot in the city so far this year. Eight people shot on the south side in the last 24 hours. Now, when I was also on the Cleed tonight, I spoke with a woman who is a Youngstown resident who was visibly shaken about what's happened over the last 24 hours and what's been going on in Youngstown all year long. Here's what she had to say about the ongoing violence. But this violence has to stop. These kids are dying out here in the street. And a mother is going to have to bury a 10-year-old. And that hurts. But I wish everybody would wake up. Please, please, Youngstown, we got to get it together. We got to get it together. Because it, it's not going to stop. And this retaliation and anything and anybody that wants to retaliate, please, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You can just feel this sense of sadness over the city today, even as we're out talking with detectives and police officers. You can see them on the scene. You can see other residents, other neighbors in these communities or out in these neighborhoods. Just they feel very sad and they've expressed that to us. So we'll stay on top of this investigation and we'll have much more coverage coming up for you tonight at 11. Employees here at the dog warden's office tell me that they are very shaken up over this because this call wasn't anything out of the ordinary for them. Mostly when they get calls like this, they respond with animal charity and a member of YPD. And that's exactly what happened here today until it all took a turn and deputy dog warden Dave Nelson ended up getting stabbed. That call came in around 4 o'clock this afternoon. I want to show you some video that our crew shot just after 4.30 when we got to the scene. You can see a wheelchair and the deputy dog warden's van. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what happened. So that call came in around 4 o'clock, and apparently a person was concerned that a man in a wheelchair was dragging the dog by a chain. So the deputy dog warden went to investigate. But before that investigation could even take place, before he could even step out of that vehicle, we're told that there was some sort of confrontation. Here's what Detective Rod Foley had to tell me on the scene. He pulled up right, right behind the dog warden and he said it was seconds it was over with and time he realized that there was a stabbing uh, the suspect already threw the knife. Um, so we did find a knife. Um, so now we'll try to piece it all back together here and you know make the appropriate charges tomorrow morning. 
And we have heard that Deputy Dog Warden Dave Nelson is expected to be okay, but is very shaken up over all of this. Detective Foley tells us that they do expect charges to be filed sometime tomorrow as they continue to work through this investigation. I'm working to learn more details, and I'll have much more coming up for you tonight at 10 and 11 o'clock. But that's the latest for now. Reporting live in Youngstown tonight, Lindsay Watson, WKBN 27 First News. Mahoning County Deputy Dog Warden Dave Nelson is recovering tonight after being stabbed this afternoon while responding to a call on Youngstown's south side. It happened around 4 o'clock near the corner of Oak Hill and Myrtle Avenues. First News reporter Lindsay Watson rushed to the scene as soon as we heard about it. She joined us live in the studio with the latest. Linz? Well, when calls involving animals in distress are made, the Mahoning County Dog Warden's office is there to investigate. More often than not, members from Animal Charity and Youngstown Police also respond as backup just in case. Today, these three groups are thankful they always have each other's backs. This call went south. This, you know, this is, it's becoming more and more dangerous out there. Mahoning County Dog Warden Diane Fry is shaken up and upset, talking about her longtime Deputy Dog Warden Dave Nelson. He was stabbed while responding to an animal welfare call on Youngstown's south side Tuesday afternoon. Humane agents say a man in a wheelchair had a dog chained up and was dragging it down the street. The crime in the area is getting significantly worse. Everybody can feel it. Everybody can see it. We see the news reports from you guys nightly with shootings and stabbings and the crime increase, and we are feeling it too. Apparently this individual was irate over some reason and it attacked the uh, warden. Youngstown Police Detective Rod Foley was on the scene collecting evidence. You can see the man's wheelchair just feet from where the dog warden's van was parked. He says the officer that was helping respond to the call saw the whole thing happen. He pulled up right, right behind the uh, dog warden and he said it was seconds it was over with. In time he realized that there was a stabbing uh, and a suspect already threw the knife. He was able to draw his gun and, and put the suspect at gunpoint. The officer arrested the suspect and called for backup while a humane agent helped with first aid. Nelson was taken to the hospital. Jane McMurchy is the coordinator for Animal Charity. She's worried about her fellow agents and the city surge in violence. Ultimately, the dogs and the cats that we're rescuing um, are coming from a lot of these same crime scenes. Uh, a, a lot of these crime scenes that there are shootings at, a dog in a house being left. Um, so yes, this is one of those ripples of gun violence and just general violence that we are seeing in the city right now. Youngstown police are continuing to investigate this incident. Detective Foley tells me they expect charges to be filed in the morning. As for the dog, it's now in the care of the dog warden's office.